Hey friends, do you know what's really annoying? If you, like me, bought a new flagship smartphone for 1450 euros and then realize that a smartphone for 330 euros would have done the same. Let me just say that the Nothing Phone 2A is completely sufficient for 19% of the population and in this video I tell you why. Of course, the Nothing Phone 2A with a price tag of 330 euros cannot be a high-end smartphone. However, the areas where you really notice in everyday life that it is a mid-range smartphone can be summarized in three key points. And I would like to check these points off with you first so that we all know what we are getting into with the Nothing Phone 2A before we can get to the many really surprisingly good features. The first thing you need to be aware of when buying the Nothing Phone 2A is that there is no high-end processor for this price. Of course, the MediaTek Dimensity 7200 Pro cannot keep up with the Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 or Gen 3. The device still runs smoothly, apps can be opened and closed quickly, although not at a breathtaking speed. But nothing lags when scrolling. Split-screen views can be opened, resized and closed smoothly. Where the mid range processor is notable, however, is the camera. When you take photos, it takes a moment for them to be displayed and you can always see the little wheel turning at the bottom saying processing in progress. In my opinion, the camera is the most important point where you have to be aware that you are not getting high end here. The Nothing Phone 2A has a 50 megapixel main camera and a 50 megapixel ultra wide angle camera as well as a 32 megapixel front camera. The camera takes beautiful and good photos and videos at up to 4k 30 fps which i firmly believe is completely sufficient for everyone who is not a content creator and only needs their camera for everyday life and vacation photos are there better cameras in this price range Yes, maybe, but then you have to make other compromises such as the battery which is sensationally good in the Nothing Phone 2A and which I get to later. The only thing that bothered me personally about the camera is that photos in the typical vertical 9x16 story format are only possible with 12 megapixel and not with 50 megapixel. I'm not an expert, but why is that? I personally wouldn't start an Instagram career with the Nothing Phone 2A. Anyone who follows me on Instagram will have seen that I posted a few 4x3 format photos in my stories recently which is due to this fact. Then there are little things that you have to do without if you buy the smartphone for 300 30 euros. There is no wireless charging, no eSIM support and no AI functions and the stereo speakers are there. They are okay for listening to something briefly but for a film or a YouTube video please just use headphones. In my opinion these little features and the camera are the points where you have to be aware that you are making compromises here and where you can only decide for yourself how important these things are to you on a smartphone. In addition to the few drawbacks just mentioned, the Nothing Phone 2A comes with a whole range of advantages and the first thing I would like to mention is the very high quality design and workmanship. Because in my opinion you simply don't have the feeling of having a smartphone for 330 euros in your hand. Sure, the frame is made of aluminum and the back is made of plastic, which of course feels different than a matte glass back. But what struck me as amazing about this whole thing is the low weight of one 190 grams with a display size of 6.7 inches. For comparison, the S24 Plus also has a 6.7 inch display and weights another 6 grams more due to the glass back. You have to decide for yourself whether the feel of the device is more important to you or the weight you carry around with you. I really like that the edges are nice and flat and the aluminum on the side is matte black. I haven't used the case yet and I haven't had any scratches in the frame or on the back yet. Beyond the workmanship, I am a big fan of the transparent nothing design which runs through all products, it's just something different and I think it has a very special look that I really like with the Bluetooth headphones for example. What is unique about the Nothing Phones is of course the glyphs on the back. Three LED stripes that can be configured so that they light up differently depending on the notification. Or you can tell when a timer is expiring or how long until your Uber arrives. <laughs> 
I'll be honest, for me personally, it's just a gimmick. I think it suits the design that the back lights up so nicely and is also an eye catcher, but I personally wouldn't actually use and configure the LEDs, but everyone can decide that for themselves. Then I'm really impressed with the 6.7 inch display of the Nothing Phone 2A. It's an AMOLED display made of Corning Gorilla Glass 5 with an adaptive refresh rate of 30 to 120 hertz and a peak brightness of 1300 nits. The display is nice and sharp and has great color reproduction. Watching films and videos, reading and scrolling is simply fun without any restrictions. Above all, the display looks really good from the front because it has super thin and even display edges, which is anything but a given in this price range. And then there is the Nothing OS version 2.5 which runs on the 2A and is actually already based on Android 14. And I love this ultra cool design of the OS. It looks so stylish and futuristic that it makes me happy to use the phone 2A every day. It simply fits in really well with the overall design and hardware and gives the Nothing Phone 2A an extraordinary touch far away from any Android uniformity. The widgets look super cool and there is also the very useful feature that I already praised on the Honor Magic V2. You can create a large folder for apps where you can then select the apps directly without having to open the folder first. It's so beautifully tidy and so practical. And if the design, the great display and the Nothing OS weren't enough, there is also a battery life of more than two days with a display on time of three to four hours per day. Nothing included a 5000 mAh battery, which is the same size as the S24 Ultra. And it just lasts at least that long. This is usually often the sticking point with the devices that cost less than 1000 euros. Manufacturers are always making the battery smaller so that they can offer the product for a low price. Not so with nothing. You get the feeling that they've really put everything into it that makes a good smartphone at its core. Then you saved a bit on the camera, the materials and little features and you get a really really good smartphone in a great design with a great display and a killer battery life starting at 330 euros. That's why I believe that most people are more than well served by the Nothing Phone 2A and definitely don't need a flagship smartphone for 1400 euros that might have a better camera and higher quality materials. I really celebrate that you can get such a great device for 330 euros and I hope that the necessary impetus in the market will be given to even more manufacturers devoting their resources to finding out how to offer high-end specs at affordable prices. I hope you enjoyed my review of the Nothing Phone 2A today. If so, then be sure to hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe to this channel because that will help me a lot to grow this channel. Be sure to let me know in the comments whether the Nothing Phone 2A would be sufficient for you personally. Friends, thank you so much for watching, goodbye and see you next time. Mwah.